Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a time-lapse geographical map. Let's say we have some data here in a table, right? We've got our data here. This is power station capacity uh, data that's from Microsoft. We have our state and county, and we have the initial date of operation, what type of energy, and the capacity here. And it would be neat if we could put it into something that is visually appealing, and this is a pivot chart, but what if we turned it into something like this? where we can actually rotate it and it almost looks like it's a movie. We'll play this here and you can see the years go from the early 1900s and as it time spans you can see that the capacity of power stations go up and in addition you can kind of zoom in and go to a specific portion of the map. Let's say this for example is Texas and it's looking at the amount of power stations and what type of power stations are coming up over time. So this is actually something you can create in Microsoft Excel. It's a very nice feature called 3D Maps in earlier versions of Excel or an earlier version of Excel, Excel 2013, is called Power Map. And in this version of Excel, Excel 2016, it's called 3D Map. So let's see how we can create something like this. So here I am in the data. I've actually just copied the data over in and we've got our state, county. And the thing to be aware of is that you would need to have a geographical specific type of fields in this I have my state and county and it's basically there to let Excel know what type of geocoding they can do. Uh, the, the more specific the better like lat latitude and longitude if you can have country postal codes depending on your particular situation. Uh, I just have state and county here this is the data that's taken in from a, a sample data set from Microsoft.com. They provided this particular example data set. And also for the time, we have a time component here, right? So this, these are dates of when the initial operation of these particular plants, uh, these power stations went up. And we have uh, the different type of um, energy descriptions. So there are different types of energy description. Let me press Alt and then the down arrow. You can see that there are different ones in this whole field a column column H goes way down to a couple thousand rows but we have a different types of uh, descriptions here and there are also the capacity of megawatts so this is also a numerical field so this all kind of goes in to help us create our time-lapse um, geographical map to create this in Excel 2016 it's already available all you need to do is go into insert and go to 3d map and we're gonna create a new 3d map and this particular setting, I'll just kind of create the one that I did earlier. So the 3D Maps feature, it comes up as a separate window. And there's a couple of things that we can do here. We can zoom in or zoom out. If we didn't like this globe feature, we can make it a flat map. You can see like I click on the flat map command, it makes it a flat map. But I kind of like to have the globe there uh, later on when we do the flyover and that saving this as a video, it makes it look a little bit better. So by default, the map or the visualization that it creates is a stack column. You can have a clustered column, there's bubbles, there's a heat map, and then there's this uh, regional visualization. I haven't gotten into that before, so I won't cover that here. But the one I kind of like to stick to is the stack column chart. And you can see here, by default, it's also kind of picked up the location. So those two fields, the state and the county, it's picked that up. So depending on how many fields that you have to let Excel know that it's these are geographical data like latitude and longitude and postal codes it will try to guess and put those fields in you can see here that it's met a 97 percent confidence report so if you click on this it'll actually tell you uh, there's some areas where maybe it couldn't plot some things so depending on how many fields you have to give it a little bit better uh, better chance of narrowing down uh, it'll do it'll give you a percentage wise uh, indication here so it's 97 percent is pretty good I think for the most part for this particular example so in this first example, I really didn't need to have too much uh, information in terms of the height and category. What I did need is this time field. And so when I click on that plus to add that field, it's going to take and guess which particular field has a time element. Of course, that's the initial date of operation. Once I click on that, you'll see that it's put in the field here and you can play it right now. So if I played it, you can see as time goes by, it uh, populates the map with the power stations, right? Let's pause that. 
if I didn't need the time, uh, it automatically add the time there and also the date. But if I just wanted the year, I can just right click, go in here and edit it. And so in, in that my particular example, I just wanted to have the year. So I just go ahead and click on that year there and click accept and it'll bring that there. I can just put this there. Let's put this here. And if we wanted to add some additional text, there's a text box here, of course. We can add, I'll just put US power station capacity. All right, click OK, click create. And move this a little bit higher and bring this over here. All right, and let's kind of move this over here. Now, if we play it, you can see that it still plays and it goes all the way up. Also, to give you a sense of the growth, we can adjust the angle a little bit. Right now, this looks like we're looking dead on in on the United States. We can adjust the angle of it. Let's not do this one. Let's let's do the angle here. That just kind of rotates it clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's adjust the angle here with the tilt down here. So if we tilt down and maybe move it over here a little bit, we'll get, kind of get a better view of the growth. So if we click play, we'll see that it tends it's going to grow a little bit more. And if we wanted to get that that charting function there, what we want to do is add something to the height, right? So if I added the capacity here, and let's just remove this layer here, this box here, just select that, press delete. Now if I press play, now you'll get a more sense of the growth of the particular data set. So as it grows, you can see that the bars go up higher and to indicate the growth. Now. If we made our angle a little bit more steep, you can see that it looks pretty good here. So there's that first part of it. And so what if we wanted to highlight a certain portion of the United States? What we can do is create another scene. So this is scene one. We want to create another scene. So this is almost like putting together a PowerPoint deck. I'll just copy this particular scene. Uh, let's go to new scene and let's just copy this. And we're going to adjust this one right now. So. I have this here. We can change this to indicate a filter. So we just wanted to have Texas right now, right? So what I can do is add a filter here. Click on the drop down, click add filter, and we wanted to filter by state. So I'm going to click state and scroll down and just look for Texas. I think that's TX. I can just do a search TX for Texas and select that. So all it's going to do is show Texas now. And also, in the example I showed earlier, instead of having the combined, everything combined into one color for all the different categories of the power stations, let's add something else. So let's add a category and the energy description, right? So we added the energy description. Now you have the different colors. And in this particular example, it's going to add, let's go into it a little bit. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit and zoom into Texas a little bit more, All right? Let's zoom in and adjust the angle a little bit more. Let's see if we move this around. How can it, we get a good view? So right, that that gives us a good view. And this is kind of a, I think we had this one as a stacked column. So what if we had it as a clustered column? We can see here that since we're kind of highlighting one state, maybe having the cluster column is a little bit better because it gives us the, it doesn't put them all into one particular stack. It kind of takes them out. So let's play this and see how that looks, right? So now we see the growth of the power stations in Texas and it looks pretty good. Now we all we need to do is kind of adjust some things here. So we'll adjust the title here instead of US power, double click that. And we're gonna call this one Texas. All right, click OK. And also here, maybe we want a legend. So we can include the legend here. And let's click this, move this up here. And let's, let's, let's close this for now. We're going to close our tour editor for now. We'll bring, we can bring it back up later. So we can at least adjust this a little bit. We can move this over here. I'm going to close this timeline we can open on later on with the timeline buttons you can you can open it later on so we're going to close this for now we want to make some adjustments here let's right click that's a little bit big let's make that a little bit smaller let's make that uh, 10 and 10 for the title and the categories so we can see things a little bit better right and bring back the timeline 
let's play and we can see that it's done it pretty well also what we can do here with the particular map is we can do incorporate some kind of flying over features I'll bring the tour editor back and in this tour editor I'll click on the gear icon here and for the effect do a dolly let's see how that works play this we'll do a dolly and let's see what what what, what it does so it just kind of goes from one side to the other very slowly right so there's a, a couple ways you can play with this and if we wanted to do something here we can also click and make an effect here and this we can do a flyover that might look kind of nice so if we want to play the whole thing and see how that works also to notice if we clicked on the, the scene we can change the scene duration this one's 10 seconds if we wanted to make it fast we can make that five seconds and the duration is three seconds so it's below the scene duration so that's okay close that and maybe we can make this one a little quicker too this one let's make this one five seconds too so it will kind of match it right and we start from the very beginning so let's play this tour let's play the whole thing and see what happens now we can see that as time progresses the earth is moving we have the stacks going up we're zooming in and now we're gonna to get to our second scene which is Texas you can also see where the time is progressing and you can see the different stacks come up uh, for each of the different descriptions for the power stations right so there it's ended and instead of having it play in Excel we can actually export this out as a movie and put it into PowerPoint though so let's see how we do that so we're back here in the 3D maps and what we can do is create a video. So once we create a video, it's going to give us some options, whether we want to have it for presentations or HD displays, that's at 1080p, or we want 70, 720p or 360. So depending on if you, the, the higher, the higher the, the, the higher the number, the more memory it's going to take and the longer it's going to take to put this together. So I'm just going to put something where it's 720p, where it's available for computer monitors and tablets. And once I click create, it's going to ask me where I want to put it. Now it's going to ask me where I want to put it. I see I already have one already there. That was from the previous one. Let's call this tour two. And it's going to put it into the video library. Click save. And it's going to create the video. So this is going to take a little bit of time and render it or put it together. And once it's done, it will be in your folder where you can import it into PowerPoint. So let's, I'll let this go. So now that it's complete, we can either close this or we can open it. Of course, if we close it, it will bring us back to our 3D Maps window. If we open it, it's going to open it up and enable you to see it in, its, in the native uh, video application. Since this is an MP4 file, it's going to open it up in whatever video player that's associated with that particular file format. So you can see that it's playing this movie right now. And if I wanted to put this into PowerPoint, all I need to do is open up PowerPoint and incorporate that file in there. So let's see how that works. So I have PowerPoint open. All I need to do is go under the Insert tab. I'm going to insert a video, a video that's on my PC. So it's going to open up the, uh, the Explorer window and I browsed for my video already it's called I was I called it tour 2 I'll just double click that and it's gonna bring it in you can see it's filled up most of the slides and once I click play you see that it's gonna play here it's gonna start to play you can see that's playing or let's put it into the slideshow view and we'll click play for that too and we have our movie so it's going from the early 1900s where kind of zooming in on there we've got our power station capacity the stacks are growing and after it gets to 2008 it's going to move around a little bit and zoom into Texas and that's our second scene and we have it starting again from from the early 1900s as it goes to 2000s and you can see the different stacks going up showing the different type of energy power stations so this is how we can take a table of data and we'll put it into 3d maps visualize it a little bit 
and make it into a movie and put it into PowerPoint to make it look like a really nice visual show. And that's how we can create a time-lapse geographical map with Excel. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.